so we are trying something different today. I've never done this before, but today we are tile fishing. And we're in 400 feet of water, just straight off Hillsboro Inlet. And we're using a chicken rig with squid. And we're just dropping down on this avet. So we have four fish in the boat already. We've only caught one at a time so far. And basically you just drop it down and you wait for a little nibble. And then you crank up and so far we've got four, so hopefully we can catch some more. All right, Brooke is up. We got four now. I got a nice like two and a quarter pounder. We got another pounder and a quarter, one and a quarter. We're still trying. I just dropped it down and it was, as soon as it hit the bottom, I had a bite already. We got one on. We got some nibbles and now we're tight. I think that one's a little one bigger than your than your first one. Yeah, that's a good one too. That's a nice fish sandwich. <laughs> it's crazy how you're reeling them up all from the same like 400 feet, and some have their eyes popping out, and some just look normal. And even their colors are different. You see, this one's almost like a little pinkish. You know what I mean? The other ones were more golden. This one's a little, got a little pink hue to them on the top. Pretty fish for sure. Nice fish sandwich. <laughs> and it looks like Brian's got a, a bigger one on now, too. This one was deep. This one was in like 450 feet. Let's see his like, color. Oh, oh. Oh, you got oh, two. You no, got just two. One. Oh. Just one. I caught a swan I saw, too. Oh, he just fell he off. off. Yeah, he did. He did. There? I think you had two and they both fell off. Really? Yeah. Look, now he's. I just. You can see it. Oh, oh, yeah, you can see it on the camera. Is he floating up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, no. Is he? Up. Is he? Yeah, we did netting. Okay. Reverse. Yeah, he's, he's floating, floating up. up. He's floating up, so we're gonna go get him. We got him. Hurry, hurry. I got him. I got him. That is pretty cool. We got him. Yeah, and that's a good one too, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. It's a good thing you get them yeah. because they're dead when you bring them up. Yeah, oh, look yeah. at his eyes. This one's Holy eyes moly. um he really popped out. I, I thought I only seen one. I, I thought I only seen one. And then Come right to the surface. Look at his eyeballs. They just exploded out of his head. Crazy. That was crazy. So we almost lost them, but he just floated belly up because their bird. air bladder just okay. fills up and they can't equalize, I guess, and they just float to the top. So I hit in reverse and Brooke netted them. Yeah, we got them for sure. Oh, yeah. We're on. Oh, yeah. I see color. It looks big. It does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice one. Oh, oh that's a big one. one. Get it, grab it, grab it. It's a big one. That's the biggest one in the day. Nice. So Sweet. All right, we got another one. Yes. We got meat in the boat. See, and I'm telling you, they're all different colors. This one's more green. The other one was pink. This one's got a green back. They got cool colors on them. Look at that nice, uh, look at that cool streak of blue. It's sick, isn't it? And their eyes. Very pretty fish. Here it comes. Yeah. It's number seven in our cooler. All pretty, pretty much the same size except that big one right there. I see color! Man, you barely see it. It's so far down. Yeah, that's a good one. That's like the size that I caught. Oh, they got some chompers. Do they? Not chompers, but I they wouldn't want to mouth. I wouldn't want to be bit by that. So we came out here wanting to catch tile fish and we're having a pretty successful day. This is our number eight already. And we haven't even been out here very long. It's pretty easy and it's actually really fun. Would it really be a Sunday out on the boat if you didn't have a pub sub? You can't go offshore without a pub sub or you won't catch anything. The more pub subs you have in the boat, the more fish you're gonna put in your cooler. That's right. That's how it goes. <laughs> Leave the bananas at home, bring the pup subs with you. And Luck. we're on we again. We got lucky number nine. We're almost at ten. You like this fishing? Yeah, I like it. Perfect day for it. Oh yeah. 
easy fishing. No current, don't even have to move the boat. Just drop it straight down and that's where your line stays, straight down today. It's relaxing, in it's four, not stressful. In 400 feet of water, that's unusual. Nice and flat. Lake Atlantic today. A little fish there. That's, the that's the smallest one. Rick's got a big one on. Oh yeah. Oh, this I one's think, pulling like crazy. I think I got a good one this time. What makes you think that? Uh, well, it's definitely pulling harder than all the other ones did, and it actually pulled some line, and none of them have done that yet. Our first double! I finally got two! Get him in, get him in! Yeah! That's why he was fighting so much, because we have two on. Woohoo! Good job, babe. Finally got two! Yeah! What is this? What's what? Oh! Maybe it's a little eel that he ate. Yeah, what is in his mouth? Try to pull that thing out. No way! See, that's what they eat down there. That's an eel. That's Look at definitely that. a baby eel. Uh-huh. Sandy. Crazy. So, here is our cooler of our tile fish. We ended up getting 12. And we probably could have caught more, but we're gonna go try something different and go um, troll some planters and see what we can catch. So we were planer fishing and um, I'm using mono and I caught this barracuda right here. This was the first fish we got on the planer so far. We are done tile fish fishing and we're gonna let this guy go if he ever calms down. Okay, so we just got in. This is what we ended up catching were 12 tile fish, and then we ended up planer fishing and catching one barracuda that we let go and one bonita. But we got these 12 tile fish, and they don't have a size limit actually, so that's why some of them are kind of small. What? But they don't get that big either. They don't. No. This is like, this is average. The size right here, like show them next to your hand, they're about like between one and three pounds, but that's pretty average for a tile fish. Well, for gray tile fish. Golden tile fish get a lot bigger. So that was my first time doing it, and I've actually never tried cooking them before. So stay tuned, I'll do a catch and cook, and hopefully it comes out good. All right, welcome back to the kitchen. So like I said, I've never tried tile fish before, so I kind of want to do something simple so I can really taste the taste of the fish. And yeah, just doing butter and salt and pepper, you really taste the fish, but I'm gonna do a little more than that. So I have my fillets, which are really nice and white, and I cut some butter on top, and I have some olive oil in the pans which again, these are the pans that I love, and I'm gonna put them on the grill, and I'll put that link to the pans in the description below. So I have that, and then I'm gonna use some lemon, salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, Italian herb seasoning, just cause I love the smell of this, <laughs> and then a little bit of wine, because you need liquid in these pans, or else your fish will um, burn. So make sure you have enough liquid in there. Okay, so a little bit of salt and pepper, A little bit of garlic powder. A little paprika. And then a little of my Italian herb seasoning. That smells really good. <laughs> A little lemon juice. I feel like I'm gonna have people call me out for seasoning up my fish and masking it, but <laughs> that's okay. Don't forget the wine so you have liquid in your pan so that they don't burn. So now we're ready for the grill. All right, so we're going on the grill and the grill is on medium heat and I'm going to close the lid and just let them cook. Woo, they're looking good and they smell really good. They're definitely not cooked all the way though. It's still pretty uh, pink in there. But we're getting close. 
You see how there's a lot of the liquid is gone? So you gotta make sure you have enough liquid in there. Alright, so they're definitely ready. really good. Let's bring them inside. So it looks amazing and smells really good. I'm super excited to try this. And it's still cooking a lot, so it's going to be boiling hot. It's going to be so hot. <laughs> it's really hot, but it's really good. All right, well thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. I haven't posted a video in a while, so I'm sorry and bear with me, but I'll see you in the next one. Okay. I cooked the fish, Vic does the dishes. Is that how it's supposed to be? Uh, 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 correction, sous chef does the dishes. <laughs>